Dragonfly Vertical Farm is a concept urban farm specially designed for the Roosevelt Island of New York City which will reduce the problems associated with food shortage, mileage, and connection between the producers and consumers. Because of the densely packed city civilization, this farm has been designed vertically, spanning 132 floors and 28 different agricultural fields for accommodating. Dragonflies aiming to produce fruit, grains, vegetables, meat, and dairy. This dragonfly wing-shaped superstructure features wind and solar power producing capability and includes housing, offices, research labs, and communal areas separated from farms, orchards, and production rooms. Throughout the glass and steel set of wings, animal, and plant farming is arranged as well as soil nutrient levels are maintained properly. The urban agriculture can feed the city without any pesticide or chemical fungicide, and make it less food dependent of its backcountry or other regions of the world. Organizing the distribution of fresh products in short circuits, that means linked directly with the consumer, the urban agriculture completes us the traditional agriculture. In addition to the nutritive quality of the produced and consumed food, the urban agriculture is also a growth lever of the urban unemployment market and the local economy. It is used directly as a social link in the conciliation of the primary needs of the newcomers with the challenge of their integration in the life of the city, fighting thus against poverty and exclusion. On the sanitary level, this farm approach presents also an interesting potential for the decontamination of polluted grounds and undergrounds as well as for he purification of the polluted atmosphere in CO2. Due to the fuel crisis and climatical change, the rural agriculture of the Western countries must answer to the worldwide food crisis of the developing countries and mainly Africa. Its role is from now on to produce all the foodstuffs transportable by boat such as cereals or corn. This is based on the evolution of the science and the most advanced biotechnologies. In addition to this nutritious role, the rural agriculture is newly challenged to recycle its own culture rebus for the green chemistry in order to produce the biofuel called second-generation fuel using the energy of non-consumable materials from the plants. The architecture has to be in the service of this new agriculture and to design this new social desire in this context of ecologic mutation and food autonomy, the Dragonfly Project suggests therefore building a prototype of urban farm offering around a mixed program of housing, offices, and laboratories in ecological engineering, farming spaces which are vertically laid out in several floors and partly cultivated by its own inhabitants. This vertical farm sets up all the sustainable applications in organic agriculture based on the intensive production varied according to the rhythm of the seasons. This nourishing agriculture is furthermore in favor of the reuse of biodegradable waste and the keeping of energy and renewable resources for a planning of ecosystemic densification. Floor by floor, the tower superposes not only stock farming ensuring the production of meat, milk, poultry, and eggs but also farming grounds, through biological reactors continuously regenerated with organic humus. It diversifies the cultivated varieties to avoid the washing of stratums of soft substratum. Thus, the cultures succeed one another vertically according to their agronomical ability to provide some elements of the ground between the essences that are sowed and harvested. The tower, true living organism, becomes thus metabolic and self-sufficient in water, energy, and biofertilizing. Nothing is lost, everything is recyclable to a continuous auto-feeding. The architecture of Dragonfly prototype suggests reinventing the vertical building as structurally and functionally as ecologically and energetically. To ensure the social diversity and a permanent life cycle in the tower, the mixed programmation is mainly laid out around two poles of housing and workplaces. Around housings, offices, and research laboratories as well as the most private to the most public agricultural and leisure spaces are designed in gardens, kitchen gardens, orchards, meadows, rice fields, farms, and suspended fields. The distribution of flows is made around a true safe spine spreading in loop the numerous elevators, the goods elevators and stairwells serving all the levels by separating simultaneously the inputs and the outputs recycled from plants, animals and human beings. Architecturally, the functional organization is represented by two oblong towers symmetrically arranged in pair around a huge climatic greenhouse that links them and deploys itself between two crystalline wings. These very light wings in glass and steel retake the loads of the building and are directly inspired from the structure of the dragonfly wings coming from the family of Odonata and Isoptera, 
whose transparent membrane is very finely nervured. Two inhabited rings buttress around these wings. Their organically chiseled exostructure accommodates the interclimatic spaces that receive the agrarian cultures. They buttress. The whole set forms double-layer architecture in V-nest mesh that exploits the solar passive energy at its maximum level, by accumulating the warm air in the winter in the thickness of the exostructure, and by cooling the atmosphere by natural ventilation and by evapopurpuration of the plants in the summer. Protecting thus the cultures from climatic changes in New York, from dash 25.5 C in the winter to plus 41 C in the summer, these plug spaces are useful to reflect on the agriculture not anymore in terms of surface area but really in terms of volume. Actually, whereas grounds nourish orchards, each wall, and each ceiling are metamorphosed into three-dimensional kitchen gardens. The interior frontages of the housing and offices throw towards the skyline of New York the cantilever of their hydrophonic balconies with hexagonal section thanks to what it multiplies the culture layers by floors. The vegetation abounds, the earth is swarming of. Insects and animals are freely brought up in holding tanks by urban consumers with low income.